My name's Martin. What's yours? Mm, my parents told me not to tell my name to strangers. I'm not a stranger. I'm a little boy. Like you. I'm Martin. Oh. Okay. I'm Ethan. Hello, Ethan. I'm eight. How old are you? Nine. Dad says I'm too young to be on the computer. So I'm being naughty. No, you're not. Dad says I need friends in the real world. Sometimes, my dad says that too. It's hard making friends. Will you be my friend? There are certain things that only adults do. It's hard oh, making friends. friends. Even clever adults pretending to be children. Um, okay. Where, Where do, do you live? live? Very few eight-year-olds refer to their parents as parents. Very few eight-year-olds who know how to correctly use apostrophes or not spell basic words. And almost none immediately volunteer to meet up with strangers. Very clever adults forget one thing. Children aren't stupid. I like to play in the park. Do you? remote, somewhere you have no place meeting a nine-year-old boy. Somewhere that proves exactly what you are. I'm going out to play this afternoon. Can, Can I come? I could bring my comic books. Comic books? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where do you live? I live near Chapel Wood. Be too careful. I'm here. Where are you? I'm playing hide and seek in the woods. Come and find me. I have to say Chapel Wood.
My name's Martin. What's yours? Uh, my parents told me not to tell my name to strangers. I'm not a stranger. I'm a little boy. Like you. I'm Martin. Oh, okay. I'm Ethan. Hello, Ethan. I'm eight. How old are you? Nine. Dad says I'm too young to be on the computer, so I'm being naughty. No, you're not. Dad says I need friends in the real world. Sometimes my dad says that too. It's hard making friends. Will you be my friend? Um, okay. Where do you live? I like to play in the park. Do you? I like to play by the lake, near the woods. I'm going out to play this afternoon. Can I come? I could bring my comic books. Where do you live? I live near Chapel Wood. to the allotments. We've had widespread problems with ice and freezing rain in particular so far through the day today, but now our attention is focused a little bit more on snow. We have a yellow warning out for the snow. It's been falling to the afternoon across parts of the northeast England, and we'll start to work its way well.
This is your golden ticket. This is what you wanted. This is better than what you wanted.
<laughs> They're here. You can't get away now, you fucking pedophile! I knew straight away. Spotted you a mile off. How many did you get out here? You fucking monster! How does it feel? How do you like it? Now everyone will know what you've done. Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. I would have liked to live longer. <laughs> Just to watch you die. doesn't have to be the end. <sighs> Been attacked by a pedophile with hunting knife. Maybe dying 
might have killed him in self-defense. <laughs> okay. One. Nobody is going to know this guy isn't a pedophile. <sighs> yeah. Terrified. Kill. Slash rape kid. Stuck me through the woods. Like I was a child. <laughs> you covered me in petrol. Two. What this guy said doesn't necessarily mean he wasn't a child abuser. He came here to commit a crime, a rape, arson, a murder. Who really knows? Hey, who's got just this? Look into you, reporting. So I do. Three, this story is viral and scalable. If you breathe slowly and stem the blood flow, you can survive. Mm. But if you don't, you'll be the first hero who ever live tweeted his own death from the scene of a crime. Okay. If I die, if I die, there's love uncovering the truth, I'm trying to make the world. Place. You should too. Either way, I'll be in every website and newspaper in the world tomorrow morning. I'm praying for you now. So brave. Please don't die. P.S. Stop that piece of shit for me one more time. He deserves to burn in hell. Congratulations, Daniel. You made it. Stay now. 